eating here. <laughs> All right, so uh, welcome back to the channel, guys. And today we have a special treat for you uh, because I am. Uh, this is another episode of uh, Will He Eat It and Is It Any Good? So uh, I went to my uh, local Asian grocery store and I picked up a few. Uh, unusual items that uh, not readily available here in my little town and uh, before I do this though I, I just want to mention that I'm not trying to make fun of Asian uh, cuisine or Asian people it's just uh, I'm not a fan of uh, seafood and a lot of these things are seafood related and uh, you know I am uh, Native American and uh, uh, my native uh, traditional diet consists of things like moose tongue and deer testicles and beaver tails so I'm not trying to make fun of anyone. It's, it's, it, this is all in fun, but yeah, so that out of the way, uh, I'm going to start with, uh, let's see, what's this? Prepared rolled squid. And let's put that over. So, like I said before, uh, not a fan of seafood at all. And this stinks. <laughs> Whew. All right, so yeah, I get a real fishy smell coming off of this right away. And it's this sheet of squid, apparently. It looks like a fruit roll-up, but of squid. So, yeah. Here we go. I'm just going to rip off a piece. <laughs> it smells like... Um, fish and cardboard so I'm not gonna make myself suffer any longer I can't do that one I uh, no it's too fishy I can't do that one but okay on to the next one here I'll just put this on side Uh, now, this is a uh, chili flavored hard boiled quail eggs. Uh, I guess it's the yolks, I'm guessing, because they look like little um, semi transparent dark brown uh, uh, spears. So they kind of look like something out of a, a space movie or something like that, science fiction y. They kind of look like amber or something. And um, it smells kind of sweet, kind of like, um, I don't know, like has a sweetness to it, like a fig or something like that. And it has a smell of um, like soy sauce. So it's a quail egg, chili flavored. And I'm pretty sure this is just the yolk part. So here we go. Mm. No, it's not just the yolk. It's got the the white part of the egg. Mm. It tastes kind of smoky. The test the texture is very dry. The inside and the outer white part, the shell. It's very plasticky when you chew it. Um, I don't know if I would ever get used to that flavor, but I've had worse. Now, and this product I got specifically because I don't have any idea what it is. It looks like I don't know if that's like little mini tentacles or something on the picture, but and it, it's all in uh, some sort of um, Asian text there. So I have no idea what it is, but I'm going to dive in and I'm just going to, for you, try this. And open. Oh boy. I really wish you could smell this. Uh, it smells like alcohol and, well, it has a strong fish odor also, and it has the texture of like a, 
a, a noodle. So here we go. Yeah, can't do that one either. Ooh, it's very spicy. It 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 gave me the impression like I was chewing into a piece of raw chicken. Uh, ooh, it is very spicy. Very fishy. The texture was not great. But anyways, we'll move on to the next one. What do we got here? Oh, right. The piece de resistance. I'm going to get this one out of the way because I was really kind of scared of this one. Like, literally. This is octopus. Here we go. Like, there's no way to describe this other than just an octopus. Preserved and some sort of a... I think that's like kind of like soy sauce. And there's... Um, I'm really nervous about this one. Uh... I'm at a loss for words. Oh yeah, those are uh, sesame seeds. So I'm just gonna, yeah. Uh, excuse me. Why am I torturing myself? Yeah, that was pretty awful. Um, it tasted like fermented soy sauce. And the texture was very rubbery. Uh, it just wasn't good at all. Uh, no offense to uh, people who like that, but I, I can't. I can't. I can't do that one. Okay. Um, now, here's another item I got specifically because I didn't have any idea of what it was. It's a clear jar with, like, it looks like oil. And I don't know if it looks kind of like, <clears throat> excuse me, oh, that was nasty. It looks kind of like organs in there, but I don't know what kind of or organs or what, but it, it, they, they seem to be kind of like leaves also. I'm thinking it's like a kimchi. And again, the label is no help. So... I don't know what it is, but it's got like a foil topper on it. Uh, so going for that. Um, what does it smell like? Oh boy. Oh, this is the worst smelling thing so far. Please focus. Oh, that is the stuff nightmares are made of. And it smells awful. Oh, I mean, it just smells like rotten. It smells like rot, but I'm gonna dive in. This texture is very, like, it's kind of like paper-like. It seems like it's hard to cut and yeah, that's like, I think that's a cabbage leaf or something, but, oh boy. That was horrible. So whatever this thing is, that's going back in there. Um... I don't even want to think about what that tasted like. It was, um, I, I, I don't even know what to compare it to, but it was just awful. Okay, it's just not my thing. Um, yeah. Now, okay, this was another interesting item that I got. Uh, I, I basically got this for the same reason of a few of the other ones, because I had no idea what it was. It's all in Asian, and... There's like this picture of, looks like some kind of meat. And I don't know if those are like raisins or what in a sauce. And it's got like this little cat logo. But yet there's a fish on. So I don't even know if it's like cat food or what. I don't know. But I'll let you know what it tastes like.
Okay, it comes in these little vacuum packed foil packages here. Now, it smells like tuna. So, yeah, I mean, that is a little familiar to me. It smells like tuna in some sort of a like barbecue sauce or something like that. Hmm. Um, okay, this is not bad. It's like kind of like beef jerky. Has that kind of texture, kind of hard, but you can still bite into it. Yeah, it's got it's got some sort of like it's got some heat to it, so it's it's a spicy something. I hope it's not cat meat in there. I just realized now there's a cat. It's probably fish because it smells like tuna, so I think I'm okay. Um, I'm starting to think this is uh, tuna jerky. Yeah, I think that's what that is, and it's very spicy. I mean, if you're a fan of tuna, and I am, I actually like tuna fish sandwiches, but I usually mix it in with a lot of mayo and on bread and stuff. It's not just the tuna alone. So, I mean, it's not bad. It's tuna. I'm pretty sure. Hope it's not cat. Uh, all right. Now, here's a bag of, uh, what is this again? Uh, crispy Basa fish skin. It's like a bag of chips, but it's like fish skin. Fried fish skin, I'm guessing. So, here we go. Ooh. Oh, it smells like when you walk into like a red lobster or a fish. Oh, that looks like a snake. It's uh, fish skin. And it smells very fishy. Um, Kind of smells like onion and garlic also. I'm just going to cleanse my palate from that spicy tuna there. Um, yeah. Hmm. For all the fishiness, oops, for all the fishiness that it smells like, it tastes like, it doesn't taste like fish. First of all, it does have a strong onion and garlic flavor and the texture reminds me of um, a certain kind of chip that you can buy, I think, at the dollar store. I think they're called munchos. It's like a, I don't know how to describe it, but I'll try and put a description like down here somewhere when I think about it later. But this is actually not bad for, for what it is. Okay, I mean... If, if someone gave me this and didn't tell me what it was, and I just ate it like that, I would think that it's, it's not bad. It doesn't taste like fish. Now, okay, I don't know if you noticed, but I kind of divided it up into this section, which was the uh, things I was not looking forward to eating. Here are the like beverages. With, with the exception of this one, and I'll do this one next. Now here we got a can of grass jelly. Grass jelly. It looks like some sort of jello, jelly type stuff in a can. Oh, there's juice coming out the top here. I have no idea what this is or how it's gonna be. Uh, now. Oh, everything just smells fermented now. Well, uh, yeah, it's very jello-like in consistency. Um, I'm just gonna try to break off a little piece here. Hmm, pretty much flavorless. It smells kind of like, everything kind of has a fermented soy sauce kind of smell to it, 
but the actual flavor, it's pretty much flavorless. Incredible. Well, now, um, here I have a can of uh, root beer. And I'm not even a fan of root beer on any given day, but I'm going to try this one. Oof. Yeah, that's why I don't like root beer. Um, as for as as for uh, root beers go, it tastes like root beer. I, I I'm not a fan of it in general, so I can't really tell you if it's good or bad. They're all kind of bad to me. So, um, but it tastes like root beer, and that's that. Now we have a can of tamarind drink. I don't even know what a tamarind is, but on the on the label here looks like some sort of a bean or a legume brown in color and uh, I have no idea what this is no smell to it well it's very sweet and kind of tart it's almost like uh, um, let me get in there. Like, like maybe like lychee or lychee, kind of sweet and tart like that. Uh, uh, other than that, I don't, I never really experienced any kind of flavor that kind of reminds me of what that tastes like. But I mean, it's not bad. Now, here is a can of what is this? Mandarin orange drink with pulp. Oh boy. You know those little preserved mandarins in a jar or, or a can? It has that flavor. Eh, that's, it's not my favorite. And it's very pulpy. Wow. You can only imagine at the bottom it must be just full of pulp. Okay. Now moving on to the more things I was looking forward to. We have a, this is pea crackers. I hope they're not pea flavored again. Uh, so, oh, they look like fusilli. They're kind of like these little spirals. Uh, hmm. It tastes like Kind of tastes like pink lemonade in a cracker form or a chip form. Hmm, it's interesting. Meh. It's not vomit inducing, I'll say that. Um, okay, now these uh, strawberry cakes. I was looking forward to this. I actually opened a bag last night because I was really tempted to eat one, but. I decided to uh, just hold off till today. So here we go with the strawberry cake. It's very light and it's just like cake. <laughs> um, hmm. Kind of tastes like cotton candy. It's very dry. kind of unpleasantly dry. Maybe it's just because they're kind of like old. They came all the way from Asia somewhere, so. Can't fault them for that. Okay, but flavor-wise, they're a little blander than I expected. But yeah, not bad. Okay, now the uh, Le Monde. Hey, this is, uh, oh yeah, this is from Asia. This is a, a lemon flavored cream puff sandwich. Oh wow, it comes in a little individual pack like the uh, strawberry cakes. It's kind of crumbly in there. Yeah, they didn't hold up very well. I think it's all squashed in there. So, oh, oh there's two of them. Okay, it's a little busted up, but it don't matter where it's going. Uh, yep, it uh, smells a lot like lemon. Mmm. 
Mmm. I'm oh, sorry, my mouth is full. Um, it's like a salted, uh, um, what do you call those, soup crackers? I can never, uh, remember the name of those. It's like that, with a, um, really tangy, sorry, lemony filling. Very good, very sweet, very tart. Now, I got this because I don't even know what this is. It has this little, uh, cartoon teardrop character on a, I don't know what that is, on a puddle of milk, and he's sitting in an eggshell. Uh, I don't really know, and it says yummy. That's the only English, so it's bound to be yummy. character on the box uh, he's inside one of the shells there he's got he's like sitting down with a shell on his head a broken eggshell so it looks like yeah like uh, McDonald's uh, those old Happy Meal cookies or baby biscuits or whatever you call it yeah that's yeah, pretty much exactly what it is it's kind of got a little bit of a lemony uh, flavor to it mmm Yep, that's good. So, I'm going to finish up a couple of these here. And there you have it, folks. Now, um, yeah, that was uh, pretty scary. The The good things that I expected to be good were fairly good. Uh, the drinks, meh, I'm not too crazy about the drinks. And the things that I had no idea what they were, they were all pretty bad, but admittedly, I do not like seafood, and a lot of them are seafood based. So it's not necessarily their fault, the products. Um, anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll come back at you with another uh, uh, video from somewhere else. Uh, maybe something a little more exotic or less exotic. And I uh, hope to see you on the next one.